What's going on guys, Jacob over here coming to you with my first Packers reaction video of the season. Tonight we're reacting to Packers versus Bengals preseason week one. This game doesn't mean all that much, it is the preseason after all, but the Packers tonight um, take on the Bengals. They're going to come away with the victory. I'm actually filming this before the game is over because I want to get home before uh, uh, the storms hit. There's a line of storms moving through and I don't want to have to wait until the end of the game when all the four stringers are in. But uh, from what I've seen tonight from the Packers, they're currently up 36 to 19. Lots and lots of good stuff. Uh, particularly uh, three guys in particular I want to highlight. Jordan Love, um, Sean Clifford, and Carrington Valentine. Uh, two of those guys are rookies. Clifford drafted in the fifth round, Carrington Valentine in the seventh round. Uh, we'll start with Jordan Love. Had a bit of a rough series to open things up. Uh, he missed Luke Musgrave on a wide open crossing route that would have gotten them a lot of yardage uh, on a third and seven. Uh, bounced back really nice on the second series, though. He was really, really good on that second series. Uh, he had a couple of beautiful throws to Romeo Dobbs, one to move the change and set up first and goal. The second to uh, Romeo Dobbs in the back of the end zone for a touchdown, a gorgeous touch pass. Um, you know, Jordan Love, I expect a lot of inconsistency, inconsistency with him, at, and especially to start the season, but he, he shows the flashes of being a really, really good quarterback in this league. And I, I believe that, you know, it, it might be a process. It's not going to happen right away, but he has all the tools to succeed in this league and be a legit starting quarterback, a guy you could potentially win a Super Bowl with. You know, I, I really, truly believe that. Now, of course, it is early. It is the first week of preseason, so I don't want to get too ahead of myself on that. Uh, but from what I've seen in camp, from what I've seen in the previous few years of him developing, from what I've seen tonight, he really looks like a guy who could, you know, at, at minimum be a decent starter. And this year, that's really all I need to see out of Jordan Love for it to be a success. Uh, moving on to Sean Clifford, fifth-round quarterback out of um, Penn State. Yeah, God, he was at Penn State forever, it feels like. Every time the Badgers played them for like five years, Sean Clifford was the quarterback. But Sean Clifford actually looked really good. In the few practices I went to at training camp this year, Clifford by far looked like the worst quarterback. But tonight, in real game action, he looked pretty darn good. He had two pretty bad interceptions, but the rest of the game, pretty much everything else, every other throw was perfect. Uh, he had two throws in particular, one to Toure, one to Wicks, that were just on point. Point. The one to two Ray was him rolling to his left on the run, threw it a dime on the sideline to two Ray, who made a really nice catch. And then the other was over the middle to Wicks, threaded it perfectly between the Bengals defenders, uh, right to Wicks. Wicks took it for 47 yards, almost scored. Um, really, I I'm actually kind of shocked that Clifford was that good. I, I mean, when I was at camp, he was by far the worst quarterback of Atling, McGow, uh, love and him. I, I mean, you know, that was just two two camps, of course, so you never really know. Um, you can't really judge a full player based on two uh, sessions of training camp. But at the same time, it was like, yeah, it looked like the Packers reached in the fifth round for him. But hey, he looked like a solid backup at minimum tonight. So hopefully uh, we can see more out of him in the next two preseason games and he can keep that up and it'll have me feeling a little bit more confident about the backup quarterback situation heading into the year. Um, third guy I want to talk about, Carrington Valentine. Gotta say, man, he was impressing all camp, and he really showed out tonight. He had two excellent pass breakups, he had a really nice run stop, and he had an interception. He looks like an NFL player, a legit NFL player, and he looks like a guy who can get real minute real game action real minutes in in a regular season game and not be bad honestly you know um like like a lot of the rookies you know it's early this is their first real nfl action but still he looks like a guy who could be an impact player a guy who could be a steal you know maybe he's not gonna be you know cb2 out of the gate or anything but you know it, it's always fun to watch some of these guys who are maybe picked in the later rounds or picked, you know, undrafted or something, uh, really show what they can offer. And from what it looks like, Carrington Valentine might have been a really, really good seventh round pick. 
at, at minimum. So uh, those three guys in part particular, the guys who showed out, also, I believe his name is Emmanuel Wilson, number 31. Didn't really know too much about him coming into the night, but he had two touchdowns, including an 80-yard touchdown right before I came into my car to record this video. He looked really, really nice. Doubt that he's going to make the team, but hey, you know, he's going to be able to put that on some tape and other teams are going to be able to see. So good for him, man. Uh, but anyways, you know, overall, Packers look great. 36 points. Only gave up 19, at least so far. Game's still going on at this point. Uh, but all of the guys that you really are watching that are going to have any sort of impact on the um on the on the regular season are all not playing anymore so it really doesn't matter at this point but still always fun to watch guys trying to fight for uh roster spots as well but looks like the rain is coming uh, i was over at ryan's for this game so i should probably get going but um anyways guys thanks for watching i really appreciate it i'm gonna try and make a reaction video to all the preseason games and all the regular season games this year Last year I was kind of swamped with uh, college work and stuff, and I'm going to have a lot of work this year as well, but hopefully I'll be able to make a reaction video for every single game this year. That's my goal. So hopefully you guys will stick with me this year. Might be a little bumpy at times, but I'm really excited. So in the meantime, guys, thanks for watching, and, and as always, go Pat Go.